Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by AC Council. Module Social Engineering Section Social Engineering Techniques. Social Engineering is psychological manipulation of people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. A type of confidence trick for the purpose of information gathering, fraud or system access. Various techniques employed are pretexting, diversion theft, phishing, wishing, spear phishing, water holing, baiting, quid pro quo, tailgating or piggybacking, shoulder surfing, eavesdropping, reverse social engineering and many others. This is about social engineering. Pretexting is acting drama to achieve objective goals. The act of convincing targeted victim in a manner and trick the victim to disclose sensitive information or perform objective actions. Pretexting methods. Pretexting is fooling someone into disclosing personal information. Pretexting is also impersonating co-workers, police, bank or tax authorities, etc. The protester must manage to build confidence either with authority or politeness in victim to derive set goals. Diversion theft is diversion of logistics, courier consignment to another address than it is intended for by influencing convincing the delivery person. Hacker tracks and gathers information about high value order by someone. When the consignment is about to be shipped and delivered by the vendor, the hacker makes himself available at the destination to collect the consignment on behalf of the victim. He may temporarily lock the premises to divert delivery at some other address. Phishing is computer-based social engineering technique of fraudulently obtaining private information. Generally, Fisher sends a spam email that appears to come from a legitimate business, a bank or a credit card company requesting verification of information and warning of some dire consequences if it's not provided. They create some emergency to make you to fall into their trap. Fisher hopes someone will fall into their trap and his hope is not false as per surveys. Phone phishing uses a rogue interactive voice response system to create a legitimate sounding copy of a bank or other institution's IVR system. The victim is prompted typically via phishing email to call into the bank via a toll free number provided in order to verify the information. Phishing system will generally reject logins continuously ensuring the victim enters pins and passwords multiple times often disclosing several different passwords. Finally call lands with the attacker further exposing of the victim. Spear phishing is similar to phishing but focus on sending highly customized emails to few end users to obtain private information fraudulently. Phishing campaigns focus on sending out high volumes of generalized emails and only a few people will respond. As per survey it is around 5%. The success rate of spear phishing attacks are around 50% as per surveys. Water holing attack is a targeted social engineering strategy that capitalizes on the trust users have in the websites they regularly visit. The victim generally avoid clicking a link in a phishing email, but the same person wouldn't hesitate to follow a link on a website he or she often visits. So this way the attacker prepares a trap for the victim at a favored watering hole to gain access to the victim's system and his connected network. Baiting can also be called as physical Trojan horse that uses physical media like flash drives, CDs, DVDs if malware loaded. Attacker drops the infected media in the victim's premises, washrooms, elevators, conference rooms, parking lots, etc. The media usually will have a curiosity generating labels and waits for the victims to pick them. Curious people pick the media thinking that someone lost it and they found it. They rush to plug into their system to know what is inside. That's it, the media infects them and any attached networks also. 
Tax may give enticing labels on the media such as employee salaries, confidential or secret deal, etc. So the biting is a Trojan horse waiting to be exploded to victimize the target. Quid pro quo. This is something for something, a favor for a favor, or exchange of codes. An attacker uses cold calling technique, calls random numbers at a target company or residences claiming to be calling back from XYZ technical support. Someone somewhere in need of such service will respond immediately to get his problem solved and serviced. The attacker main motive is not to help, but they will help solve the problem and in the process, have the user type the commands that give attacker access or launch malware. All the organizations worry about tailgating and piggybacking. Organizations allow only authorized persons with valid access badge to their restricted areas. An attacker seeking entry to a restricted area secured by access control simply walks in behind a person who has a legitimate access. Following a common courtesy, the legitimate person will usually hold the door open for the attacker. And sometimes attacker themselves may ask the employee to hold it open for them. The legitimate person is an employee of that organization, gone through the training, security policies, awareness programs, but he fails to ask for the identification for any of these silly reasons. And he may accept an assertion that attacker might have forgotten or lost the appropriate identity badge. Hacker poses as genuine tech support and divert request calls to him to answer resolve issues thereby capturing sensitive information. Thanks for watching.